All right, so today we're going to subtract integers. But before this, you learned, you've mastered how to add integers, right? The ones with the same sign and different signs. But you might be asking, but Ram, we were already subtracting when we were adding integers. Oh yeah, you're right. But technically, you're not doing subtraction yet. Subtraction is this lesson, okay? Just like this guy beside me, he's thinking, hey, how can I move it around so that addition, I mean, so that subtraction would be easy, all right? So we'll discover the rule, and then we'll have some practice. Ready? Here we go. Now, sometimes in class, the teacher would say this, oh, disruptive students should have consequences for what they do. So it's like a punishment. Okay, suppose this teacher gave a warning to the class before having a test. So the teacher said, if you talk during this test, I'll give you two choices. These are the punishment. A, I'll take away five points from your test score. Oh, that's scary. I don't want you to take away five points from my score. Or B, I will give you a plus negative five points in your test score. Wow, the teacher said the word plus. I think, will I choose A or will I choose B? Think about it. Write your choice in the chat or in the messages. Go. Now, let's look at your choices. Now, for example, in a test, and you, you violated the rule. You were talking or chatting during a test. You were disruptive, and you are supposed to get the punishment. And your score was 15. Okay, choice A. I take away 5 points. So that's 15 minus 5 is equal to positive 10. All right. Now, choice B. If I do what the, other, the teacher said, I'll give you a plus negative 5 points. So 15 plus a negative 5 becomes, hold on. How do I add a positive and a negative? Oh, I subtract the absolute value because this is longer. And then I get the sign of the bigger absolute value it's also a positive 10 oh my goodness the results are the same so i will end up with the same score of 10 how come the other one is adding and the other one subtracting okay what can you say about the two equations yes they are the same okay how how on earth were these two equations the same let's see why so 15 minus 5 is a 10, all right? And we learned that 15 plus negative 5 is also a 10. They are the same. They are the same. The result is 10. Let's focus on this. Okay, so today we will make a rule. What happened to these two equations? Why did we change the subtraction into an addition? Okay, look at the first set of numbers, the operation, and the third set of numbers. What changes did we do? Okay, compare them. For the first one, yes, we kept them the same. No change at all. We keep them. For the second, what have you observed? Yes, correct. We changed it. Instead of subtraction, we went back to addition rules. Take note, addition rules. On the third one, what happened to the positive 5? What can you say? If a positive becomes a negative and it's the same number, it's the opposite. All right? So we kept the first one, we changed the operation, and then we used the opposite sign. And what have you observed? It doesn't matter whether you do the first equation or the second equation, the answer will be the same. The answer here will be the same as that. See that? Okay. All right. By the way, this second number is called the subtrahend. That's uh, another vocabulary, subtrahend. The answer in subtraction is called the difference but anyway the second number is the subtrahend that subtrahend is the secret that will make subtraction easy okay so what have we learned oh ram um in order to subtract what can you say write down in your uh, notes yes add the opposite we were adding look at this we were adding the opposite so you could remember that put it in your brains add the opposite or if you if you want to easily remember it you could say 
keep change opposite. KCO, KCO, keep change opposite. Now, let's try some practices. Let's start with this. So, 7 minus 12, yes, it's subtraction, but subtraction is just adding the opposite. So, instead of doing the number line, you could rewrite it. I know some kids will do it mentally on their brain, but I want you to rewrite it. Keep the, neg the positive 7. Keep, I, sometimes, you know, some kids will even write the letters on top. K-C-O. And then, write the new addition equation. You're adding now two different signs. Adding two different signs. How, what, what's the rule again? Subtract them. Yes, and you get a 5. And what sign will you use? The higher or the greater absolute value. Okay, remember that. How about this? Try this first. Write your answer in the chat. Let's see. Okay, I write my letters again. Keep change opposite. I rewrite it as 7 plus 12. All right, negative 7 plus 12. So I'm adding two different signs again. What do I do? Correct. Subtract them. You get a 5, but the greater absolute value is positive 12. So it's a positive 5. Okay, good job. Next, how about this? KCO, rewrite it as, correct, negative 7 plus negative 12. But take note, you're adding a negative and a negative. You're Move, if in the number line, you're moving to the left, and then you're moving to the left, and then more to the left. So where are you now? You are at negative 19. Good job. How about the last one? 7 plus negative 12. Keep, again, don't remember, I mean, don't forget, KCO, always write those two letters. I literally write it, okay? And then we write the equation, 7 plus plus positive 12, they're both positive now, and the answer is positive 19, all right? So remember that subtraction is just adding the opposite or simply KCO. Now, all right, you're now ready to practice on your own, okay? You can write it on a sheet of paper or do it mentally, and then I will show you the final answer once you play the video, okay? Pause. Here we go. Number one is negative seven. Number two, negative six. Number three, negative 29. Number four is 24. Yeah, you got it right. Ne number five is negative 12. Number six is negative 24. Number seven, negative 191. Number eight is negative, I mean positive 60. Number 9 is 4, and number 10 is negative 1. All right? So, what's your score? Are you getting it? Good job. Don't forget, KCO. Keep change opposite. Bye, y'all.